Hi dancers and welcome to danceboardplace.com where competitors come first. I am thrilled that you're joining me today because I have two amazing guests for this interview. I'm sure that you will love these people and I cannot wait to talk to them. We have Ricardo and Yulia here with us. And of course you know that they are the current world professional Latin champions for the past three years. They are five times US Latin champion and also the world champions in the South American show dance. And if you've seen them dancing, you can understand why they have all these accolades. They are just amazing. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to talk to you specifically about a topic um, which is preparing for a major event. Mm -hmm. Of course, all dancers are preparing for these individual events, but they're leading up to these big events during the year. And I kind of wanted to touch on that with you. But before we talk about the big events, I was wondering just in a general week what your training schedule is like in your practice schedule. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll start. Um, to be in a position as we are now, of course, we have a lot of trips. We have a lot of uh, travels around the world with the um, dance competition, dance shows and uh, training and etc. So what we do, we try to limit it, the travels mm -hmm. and um, to get as much as we can preparation for the big event. Um, we like to see our main coach before that. Mm -hmm. It gives us an extra um, confidence and give us extra push, mm -hmm. you know, to do our best. Um, we try to have a healthy food, more sleep, because I think it's very important. Yeah, sure. um, and as we travel, we sometimes don't sleep enough or not a good food or something like that. So you try to keep yourself in a good mood, mm -hmm. in a good positive um, position and, um, and that's it I think this is the main thing what we do and of course priority on ourselves practicing this is the first if we need to teach we teach or extra things what we need to do but mostly for ourselves and do you do you build up to additional practices when you're getting ready for a big event or do you feel like you need to reserve yourself before well, a big event? The most important things for us is to cut down the schedule. Okay. Because what we we think is very tiring is the spend a lot of time in the flight or fly mm -hmm. from uh, any place. It doesn't matter if we fly still in America or if we travel back to Europe or uh, Asia. Um, our schedule is very crazy, so uh, oh, if somebody <laughs> can follow us in Facebook, they can see one day we are in Tokyo, <laughs> in the other day in Shanghai, and back to Europe, so... And that's obviously, it's tiring for the body, and it's not yeah. uh, healthy in one way. But that's that's what we choose, that's what we want to do. Um, close by the big event, uh, we cut all that, that traveling. We, we try to base ourselves at least two weeks in one place. Okay. Mostly... It's uh, close by our teacher, how Julia said, um, because you know you need to recharge battery, you need to feel more um, detailed what you have to do. I guess the big difference is like the more the event it's bigger, more we try to pay attention on details, and we we just take the time for us. No matter what we're doing, it's just for us. Obviously, if somebody during the time asks us for a lesson and we have extra time, yes, of course, we can give it. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly by recovering, uh, recovering our battery, recharging battery, uh, focusing on uh, uh, targets. We try to exercise. We try to eat healthy. We try to check our clothes because also it's very important mm -hmm. that we, we have a project going on in that two weeks. Okay, so two weeks out, yeah. you Completely are in for us. <laughs> and, serious uh, mode there. Whatever we can, we practice. <laughs> now, how much of preparing for the important event is mental? You said a little bit about the physical. You need the rest, you need to right. be in one place. Right. Mentally, is there a difference in how you get ready? I guess uh, for us, to be honest with you, it's not that big difference between a uh, major event and small event. Okay. We take serious what we are doing. So for us, even small events are important because it's the process that we are going through. And um, the timing, the time frame that we have between one big event and the other event, event, like for example, the last big event we had was Blackpool, I guess, and now it's the World Championship. Mm -hmm. In between, we had the World Superstar. It's one of the famous showcases right. that we do in uh, in Japan. 
And also there is a, another extra tension because it's beside our five normal routine. We have a, our five showcase routine. Mm -hmm. uh, but after that, we said that's it. After the 17th of uh, August, we flew 11. back. <laughs> no, seven, oh, the, the 11, yes, you're right. Yes, we flew back to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And we start our preparation for the World Championship. Okay, so you leave... You leave those, those routines behind and you just change your focus yeah. back to Mentally, it, obviously, you. you know what you're going through and I guess it's mm -hmm. just matter about focusing. Yeah, and you have to, I guess, also keep yourself motivated, you know, for the big event. You have to find what is inspire you. Um, for me, it's very great. I look on my idols or some videos, which is a great dancer performance or singers or anything. Yeah, what I it's love just that. inspire you. Yeah. You know, and you see, yeah, this round, it's nothing, you know, <laughs> compared yeah. to this, for example. And it's inspired you to do, so it's mentally help you. Yeah, I, I think that's through. very true. I've done that before myself. I love that. Now, the day of the competition. Right. Do you have any rituals or superstition or anything you need to do? You know, have to have that teddy bear with you before of you go. Of course, I'm Italian. <laughs> I, we have we have sus <laughs> superstitious, no matter what. <laughs> well, we have, like, kind of process between us. Correct. Yeah, we have some small things like I have to put the number okay. on the back. Oh, yeah, that's no absolutely. one else. No one, else. No <laughs> so one can know, touch like, certain things. Yeah, we have some Only small Julia. things. <laughs> <laughs> Not like big, big, because I find my dance life very unexpected. You know, it could be great day start and good hair and this, and I feel great. And dance maybe no as good as it started. Or opposite, I feel tired, a little bit this, a little bit that. And I'm like, whoa, on. Never danced like this before. So I find it just take it as it is. And we're preparing you know, everything preparing the night before. Everything. Clothes, brushing the shoes, make everything is... Yeah. Okay. So you just have to be ready fully. Fully present like how you want to. You want to practice. You want to practice till like, I don't know how you want to be. You want a great dress. You have to prepare a great dress. You have to have a great tan. You have to great like body. So, and that's it. Competition yeah. done. You did your hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no flying by the seat of exactly. your pants. You are ready, and you know you you've got that that set up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. We try yeah. to be ready as much as we can. So, the moment that you're standing on deck, you're about ready to go on the floor. What is the last thing you're thinking about? Either one of you. God help me. <laughs> <laughs> and I say I want just to share this love of dance to everybody. Oh, I love I that. I just wanna. I'm so blessed to be here. So blessed, um, you know, to dance with these great dancers. Like I, I was before just watching video, and now I'm here and almost on the top. I mean, I am on the you top. Are the but top. Yes. Yeah. I don't sure. wanna think this way, but I just wanna give them love. That's how I am. That's it. That's my love to dance, That's and it's always helped me. Instead of just stressed and, oh, I want to I wanna, I wanna be good today, or I want to be this, or I want to, you know, that's become I, too... I really think the audience can appreciate what you're saying right now. I mean, that's why people love to watch you. It's exactly what you're saying right now and what you're giving to them. So I think it definitely shows I think on the so, yeah. Whatever it is, food in, outside, doesn't matter. I just want to give my love to, to dance and to my partner as well. Great. Good to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now, Ilya, I want to ask you. You, When we see you on the floor, you look perfect. You are flawless, you're stunning, everything. You're the complete package. Nobody can find a fault in you. But in your own self, is there some, some insecurity or uncertainty that you still have? We can't see it, but is there something in you? Yeah. Hmm. I don't see myself as a perfect always or I'm very pleased to hear this and I know some people come to me you saw this and so you're beautiful I'm so pleased that they see this but I'm always I'm, I'm very perfectionist so I'm not always happy <laughs> you know I want to do more I want to be better and better and better it's, it's hard to see what is like my exactly minuses but um, I'm sure they are, they are there <laughs> yes, I'm sure there, but I don't. I don't want to just kind of acknowledge okay. them. Just, but you have the drive to to be better each time. Every Absolutely. time, okay. yeah, every time, every time. So she's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Ricardo, you have you're the leader of the couple, right? And that comes with a whole. Am I? Yeah. Well, I know. <laughs> I'm I not sure yet. Ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the leader of this Am I? 
Keys. Okay, that's Keys. interesting. Okay. <laughs> this comes with a lot of responsibility, a lot of pressure. I mean, you've got to move around the floor, all this stuff. How do you deal with the additional pressure of leading with all the other stuff that goes on in a major event and taking care of your partner and everything? Well, I think the last things you said is very important, taking care of your partner. That's, uh, that's one of the targets that you have to think the day you start to dance, no matter if you dance with uh, somebody lower level, or same level or higher level. doesn't matter what you're doing. Man has to take care about the lady on the floor. And I think that is the, the most important concept. That's why we start to dance. Mm -hmm. And that's why we want to carry the idea of to be a dancer because I think the man should always look like a gentleman on the floor. I personally don't like uh, the man to take over mm -hmm. on the floor and uh, some, sometimes also exclude the partner. Um, I guess my dancing came from uh, a basic element where the man lead the woman and support the woman. Obviously the words lead, it's, it's, has a lot of colors going through, <laughs> you know, it's not just that I give a direction, you go there, it's not just that about oh, it's, oh. it's, it's <laughs> How you said is a lot of mental preparation on it. And uh, after six years, we still sometimes um, struggle with understanding each other because mind working in a very high level process, speeding up and very faster, more fast than the body. Mm -hmm. And you have to be connected mentally when you dance. And besides sharing feeling with the audience, the most important thing is that we're sharing feeling between us. And for me, it's important she feel comfortable on the floor. Whatever it takes to make her feel comfortable, that's my job. And of course, whenever it's my, my space, I can enjoy it too. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy with the audience. So that's, that's part of the games, I guess. Well, I really, I really recognize that in your dancing too. Actually, that's something I put in my notes is, I really do appreciate how you take care of her. And you're obviously a phenomenal dancer, but... but the part of the phenomenon is that you make her look so great in the presentation also. So I can really you. appreciate what you're going for Thank there. Thank you. So you, you both had very long careers as competitors. Yulia, what is a great quality that you have in the partnership with Ricardo? Well, I think first of all, I feel a great uh, atmosphere, good character. Mm -hmm. I love the character of Ricardo and it shows on the dancing. He's very cheeky, he's very funny, and um, very energizing. So, I like that. So, I... I, I <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I like his, this sense of um, character or the atmosphere he gives me. So, very playful, so it's never like dramatic or... So, it's always, it's like he's there, bubbling, okay. shiny. Easy like to respond that. to that, right? Yes, it's yes. very easy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like what about you? What qualities do you love about dancing with Julia? Well, obviously, you know, the reason why we dance together is because I guess long time ago I saw a beautiful Russian blonde on the floor when she came to America. And uh, at the time, my teacher showed me this girl and he said to me, you know, one day I would like you to dance with her. And I was like, yeah, one day I would like to dance with her. <laughs> What I liked about Yulia, it's definitely determination, the quality of dancing. Uh, she's a very free spirit. She's not like, uh, with a, like the most of uh, dancers, focusing on only one, one aspect. She's very open-minded, she try everything, she's mm. fearless on Ooh, the that's floor. A good, that's a good one. Sometimes she's too much fearless. <laughs> Too much trusty, or Ricardo the one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, it's like stepping up in a life. I had I always had a good partner, I must say. I was pretty lucky uh, and I had a good result with it. But I guess it's very rare that you can find a partner like this. And as much I am bitching about sometimes, <laughs> uh, it's, it's the bless, you know? It's just something that at the end of the day, you feel like, yeah. You know what, you all of you, you're right. She's great, <laughs> and that is a, that is very important. That uh, we we take care and we acknowledge that that part of Julia. She's good. I mean, there is nothing else you can do. You can ruin her if you want to, but it's also very difficult to ruin her. So well, I think um, we can see then that you have this admiration for each other in your dancing. I, I can see that when you're dancing together. So it's nice to hear all those those little flattering remarks to each other. 
Um, okay, now this one, I want to ask you, after a major event, sometimes you can have a great result, sometimes maybe not the result you want. No matter which way it goes, how do you, how do you react with the strategy, the next step after this result? <laughs> there is always, well, we don't uh, ever stop to the first comp. Like, uh, now we have the World Championship, which is coming, but the next step is the National Championship. Mm -hmm. So however it's going to be, we never have uh, so much time to enjoy or get disappointed about the results. Okay. Good or bad? Good, because if, uh, if, because if you win the World Championship again, you would like to enjoy and sharing this enjoyment for as long as you can. Uh, but you know, sometimes we have to always moving on because our target is not to just win one competition, it's to, to be the best on the floor and to leave a, a message to everybody that there is always a chance to improve it to getting better. And this is good when the result is not what we are expecting for because yeah, you can cry, but you have to move on, no matter what. And uh, try to understand uh, probably what went wrong or what it could be done better. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes there is nothing wrong, it's just a process of life. You just can do better and uh, spend more time. And I guess uh, a lifetime is not enough. So six years is it's a little... <laughs> Drop in the bucket. A little, yeah, a little space, you know, of time. Okay. I think Ricardo is very, very strong mentally. And sometimes he just helped me, most of the time helped me. I could go down and think like, mm, did we do right? Mm, is it enough? Is it? He always helped me with the passing through and continue moving forward. So I very admire that. That's great, yeah. Now, the last thing I wanted to ask you was, it's kind of what we just talked about right now, but um, apart from competitive results, in the future with your dancing, what do you, what do you want to do with your dancing? What's your, your goal for your personal dancing? Uh, well, how we said before, we want to leave uh, something to the audience, to the actual dancers. Like we want that the dancers look at us and say, wow, they keep improve. Or wow, what a feeling. Or even if they don't really understand what we're doing, we want them to feel what we feel when we dance. Mm. And that's probably the longest memory we could carry in all our dancing. Even the day we're gonna, we want to stop, because probably we feel we cannot give that anymore. You know, and you have to be honest with yourself, not carry on for titles, you don't need, uh, you need to carry titles. Um, a lot of people think like, wow, what a life. It's, it's beautiful life. I would do 10 times what we're doing, but it's very tiring. Oh, I can it's imagine. It's very demanding. <laughs> yeah, you're always at the edge. You always like, never relax. Never relax, and that's probably the best part. We're gonna yeah. miss it one day. <laughs> but I want the people remember the way we did our career, right? What yeah. we went through yeah. and what they felt when they see us on the floor. Yeah, I I love personally challenge, and I will challenge myself first till the maximum what I can do, and then of course. Um, I think it has to be the point where you have to share also your knowledge or help to other dancers. Right. And I would like also to put this to a young generation or um, our students to help them to also to be, to reach this goal, at least close by or to be the world champion. You know, I think this is a good thing because we spend like almost half a life. Yeah, oh, yeah, I didn't have a childhood, so. So everything was in dancing, so I would like also to mm -hmm. share this with somebody, what I earn, what I, you know, get this, all this knowledge and experience. Absolutely, pass it on. Yeah, pass it on over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck with this upcoming event, with all future events, and I can't thank you enough for joining me today. And I'm sure thank you guys so love much. hearing thank all that fantastic thank information. Thanks again for joining us on DanceSportPlace.com, where competitors come first.